I just turned on my computer and hit refresh because we just got back to our little Airbnb here. And I'm so excited. I wouldn't even tell Kurt what was going on until he turned on the camera because I want you all to know at the exact same time, our ship is leaving Texas. It is moving. It is going 14 knots an hour, pulling out of the Galveston port. I am literally crawling out of my skin excited. And now we can leave Panama. Well, we can start to get ready to leave Panama. We were literally <laughs> stuck and now we're not anymore. Ah, uh, 12 days. And now it's finally moving. Final preparations for our trip to Colombia and South America are underway. I've got to do one last thing. I've got to go over and pick up the revised cap paperwork. Because the ship was delayed, our paperwork expired. And Snow is in uh, going to stay behind in the Airbnb and she's going to pack everything up. Because tomorrow, first thing in the morning, we're going to Colombia. Okay, Kurt has gone to the vet to pick up our updated health certificates. I'm staying here trying to get us packed. And we've run into what could be a problem. Our suitcase is getting really, really full and I still have to fit all of those clothes in there after I wash them. The kitty cats count as our carry-on. So we get them and a personal bag. I have our camera bag that Kurt will be carrying so full. My bag will carry our laptops. I've put them in there, it's so full. Houston, we have a problem. <laughs> All right, G and Vanna are getting to be about as stir crazy as we are. No G, <laughs> that's a perfect example. But you have to book your plane tickets at least 48 hours in advance in order to do the reservations to get the cats to be able to fly on the plane with us. A lot of you keep asking what we're doing with the kitties. Well, kitties can fly in the plane up front with us in a carrier as long as it fits under the seat in front of us. So that is the plan. We're calmed down a bit over our excitement last night of the ship finally leaving the port. We have booked our Airbnb in Colombia, and Kurt is about to book our plane tickets. Cartagena, here we come. Here we come. Yeah, I gotta book the plane tickets. The boat still is, well, it's left the port. We don't know where it's at, but we're gonna make arrangements and move forward like uh, we're traveling around the world. Let's do it. Kurt just got back with the updated health certificates. I'm walking two blocks down the road to the copy shop so I can make some copies of our new certificates with the new dates on them. And then I'll head back, try to finish packing. So I'm getting the copies made and they do lamination. So we're getting our COVID vaccine cards laminated because that's starting to be something we get asked for a lot. So we want to make sure they don't get messed up. So this is a good stop. Just when I thought I had done the last chore, I've been informed by Snow that we do not have enough storage to carry everything we need on the plane, which is not really a huge surprise. As you guys know, we have everything we need in the van. So putting it in suitcases and figuring it out was tough. Anyway, long story short, I gotta go find us a bag to carry on. So I'm gonna hop on one of these guys. I can't take it the whole way, but I can get it close enough. It's this little ride brought me up to the Santa Ana district. And this is kind of where all the little markets and shops are. And so they got a nice little square here that leads down to this road. But it's also the edge of the range for the scooters. So they actually stop right down the road. Now I imagine I'll have to carry the bag back anyway, so I won't be able to ride a scooter, but those things are fun. We've been taking them all around and uh, having a fun time with them. They're not cheap. You know, it's like three bucks a ride or something like that. So Uber's actually cheaper, but sometimes they're funnier and just quicker. So you can see 
There's used books there. There's a little a shop set up there for manicures, pedicures, right on an umbrella. And we got the graffiti and of course the rubbish and basura. And uh, of course the little street stands and street markets and things like that. But we're here to find some kind of bag that we can carry on to the plane for the little bit of extra stuff that we brought. So Kurt saved the day. He walked up to town and pretty good ways away and bought us a $20 suitcase. Mm -hmm. So we got another suitcase, problem is solved. We are packed, everything is ready except for we gotta sleep one more night here. We have a car picking us up at five o'clock in the morning. We're gonna see you guys in the morning. It's like Tom Petty says, the wait is the hardest part. It is the hardest part. But in the morning, we head to Columbia. Bright and early. Kitties are in their carriers. Everything is packed. Our driver to the airport is downstairs. Let's do this. South America. All right, we are at the airport. The G talked the whole way here in the car. It was dark, we didn't film it. But uh, let's go in and get checked in. We're checked in, everything is good. We're getting good help here at the counter. What is your name? Edgar. Edgar helped us out. The kitties are ready to go. You ready to go find this plane? Let's go, All Columbia. Right. <laughs> we have made it through security. With both cats. With both cats. And the only thing we have left, we may need a return ticket. And uh, with the land borders closed, I'm not sure we're gonna squirt through without having a return ticket. So other than that, we're about to get on the plane, guys. Hola. Hola, buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos días. Buenos turquoise water and yeah we're we're excited to land welcome to Colombia <laughs> all right guys we're off the plane headed to get our bags and go through customs <laughs> Okay guys, when you're going through customs, you're going to look for the guy in the yellow vest. He's right there. He's very nice. And uh, he's going to bring you back to an office where you fill out some forms. You show them your health certificates. You pay the fee. How much was the fee, Kurt? Uh, we'll check later. <laughs> we'll, we'll put it on the screen. And we just wait a little bit for the paperwork and then we will get to go and the cats will be all legal. And right now, they're pulling up and checking the YouTube. We had some great help here. All right, and we got the taxi on the way. We're headed to the Airbnb. Here we go. So we're done at the airport. The people to check the pets in were super nice. They were even watching our YouTube channel while they were filling out the form. And now we're in the cab and he has stopped here at the pet store because we got to get a new litter box and litter for the kitty cats. Then we will head to the Airbnb and get G out of this carrier because he is not happy. All right, guys, we have made it to our Airbnb. The kitties have recovered from the traumatic flight, even G, who sounded like it was the most horrible thing ever. But guys, it was really only 50 minutes on a plane. <laughs> We took a little bit of a rest, had a snack, but I think it's time to go find some lunch, Kurt. Let's go explore Cartagena! <laughs> Today, Cartagena has grown rapidly and is home to over one million people. It is the most popular tourist city in Colombia. 
Many come just to explore the historic city center. There are also more glamorous neighborhoods like Castillo Grand and Boca Grand with their shiny skyscrapers that line the beaches. But we chose to stay in a neighborhood near the historic city center, Hetsamani, a trendy little eclectic part of town. Perhaps the coolest part of Cartagena? The fact that the fortress of walls and forts still stands today. Right here. Hola. So this place is definitely unique. They have little wooden utensils and the knife is even serrated and sharpened. But the food is kind of unique. It's, I guess, Caribbean style? Yeah. Caribbean bowls. Caribbean bowls. And you pick your protein and your rice and, and, your, and your veggie or your salad. It's a small little place. It kind of has a little view overlooking the little park. little park. We just got this yummy, yummy drink. Chicha de piña, or pineapple chicha. And it is pineapple cooked down with cinnamon and ginger. You want to give it a try, Kurt? It is. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so good. So, so good. good. So I got the bowl with fish, fish bits. There's little beans, black beans and rice down there, sauteed veg, eggplant, onions, some peppers, and then it looks like we got some fried plantanos along with some lime there. So this looks pretty tasty, I'm pretty excited. What do you get, Snow? All right, mine is Jamaica jerk chicken over some grilled veggies and some fresh tomatoes and onions on the same rice, which is a coconut rice with black eyed peas. 20,000 pesos for a bowl, which is about $5 for a bowl. The juice is about another dollar. And so $6 each, $12 for the meal, not bad. Let us show you a little bit about our really cute Airbnb down here in this old section of Cartagena. First of all, we have this whole big giant forge, a nice little gas grill, and you walk out into this courtyard area that we don't share with many people. There's uh, maybe eight or nine apartments up there and maybe 15 or so that cover the area. But it's a nice, safe, little secure oasis. Uh, it's got a 24-hour doorman locked in. Everything's pretty cool. All right, guys, I just ordered a Repas from this place right here. So it's almost like a pita pocket stuffed with various meats and cheeses and other stuff. They're right around 10,000 pesos a piece. So a little over $2 a piece. I got two for me and two for Snow. I don't think she'll eat two, but in any event, some interesting street food here in Colombia. Let's 
see these things. Yeah, there you go. Tonight is a, I believe a Colombian dish, arepas. It was takeaway day, so I went for a walk and picked up a surprise for Snow. What do you think, Snow? Well, they look good. I have not tried them yet. I like that it came with this variety of sauces. Now, I've already done a little taste touch test on each one, because y'all know I don't eat spicy food. And this one has just a little bit of spice, like a little spicy mayo type thing. So I'm gonna put some right here. And that'll be my sauce for my first bite. <laughs> Look at that bite, guys. They are good. And one, the thing, one thing about Colombian food, though, and maybe it's just because we've been eating really, really healthy, they like to fry things. Yeah. So stuff is not like dripping and grease grows, just greasier than food we've been eating lately. So, as soon as we get our van back, no more greasy food. But this <laughs> is good and work. First sauce was good. This one's like a little jelly type sweet thing. So, we'll give this one a try now. Oh, I like that one. That one's good. Did you see any monkeys?
If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our channel and hit that notification bell so you guys know when we put out new videos. And don't forget, you can always follow us over on Instagram to see what's going on in between videos. Cheers, guys!